In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to create a Windows 98 boot disk. So let's get started. Now we're not going to use any kind of VM or screen capture. We'll be using real hardware. And today we'll be using the old Sanyo KT600 Dragon. Now the only thing that we're going to need besides a Windows 98 PC is a blank 3.5 inch floppy as it is going to get formatted. And uh, you also got to make sure this white protect tab is set correctly. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and put our disk in. And we're going to come right down to the start menu. We'll go to settings and open up control panel. From here, we want to open up add and remove programs. And right here, we'll select start up disk. And then we'll select create disk. From here, we're going to select OK. And uh, this may take some time, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward. Okay, our disk is complete. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to reboot and uh, start the machine off of our floppy. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we're going to hit our boot menu key. Uh, for us, it's escape. Okay, we're going to go ahead and boot from our floppy. Uh, this may take a little time, so uh, we'll just go ahead and fast forward. We want to do start computer with CD support. And there we are, our Windows 98 boot disk. We have our A drive, and we'll go ahead and go to C. And there's our Windows install. And that's how you create a Windows 98 boot disk. Knowledge is power.